just because it's later in the year doesn't mean you can't you can't grow a garden. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead, and it is the week before Fourth of July. Okay, so at this point in time, we're again, if you're not familiar with us, we're in Southwest Ohio. Okay, so we're zone 6A, 6B, whatever. We're right there in the middle, somewhere between those two zones. And anyways, it's the week before the 4th, and it's time for us to analyze uh, what, what things have done okay for us, what things are just stinking, what needs to be redone, because we still have 100 days of growing left, okay? There's still 100 days plus in our growing season, so it's really a good chance for us to reevaluate everything that's going on. What's growing, what's not, what could do better, what's done, what just stunk it up. Right, so we're gonna go through some things, you know, figure out all those, the answers to those questions and replant because we have 100 days left. We have plenty of time to grow food. And so I wanna encourage you with this video, by the way, the point of this is to encourage you to just because it's the week before the 4th, just because it's 4th of July, by the time you're seeing this, it could be 4th of July weekend. Just because it's later in the year doesn't mean you can't, you can't grow a garden. Maybe you've, uh, maybe you've like, missed, missed your mark. You wanted to plant a garden. You wanted to grow some tomatoes. You wanted to plant some beans. And you just didn't do it. And you know, oh, now it's too late. No, it's not. It really isn't. It's not too late. We're going to, we're going to take this time to show you everything you can still be planting right now so what vegetables can i plant fourth of july weekend right that's that's the point of this whole thing to show you hey some things don't do as well redo it it's okay and just be honest with you as those fire engines go behind me if you can hear them <laughs> um just be honest with you we're going to do this video throughout the coming throughout this whole week okay so it's going to be like after i get off work sometime in early early evening we're going to do we're going to plant something and this video will be a compilation of each thing we've done throughout the week okay the first thing we're going to look at is our cucumbers uh the cucumbers in the green stalk didn't do very well they got too hot and a vine borer had come in and it's pretty much taken out what was actually doing okay so we had 12 cucumber plants in there a lot of them are just done from the vine borer uh taking care of them or just getting too hot and not being productive enough we have plenty of time to grow some more cucumbers so we're going to take cucumbers chicago pickling cucumber okay and we're going to put them actually where we used to put them on this trellis down here in the garden because what we tried to put on this trellis didn't do well either Norm normally we put cucumbers on this trellis and we put a trombone cena squash up there and it's doing fine but down here we tried to grow beans and a eh, little bit, a little bit up there, a little bit. This plant's doing okay, but it's just one plant. A couple plants down there doing okay, but it's just one or two plants. The reality is between, between the rabbit eating stuff, between bugs eating the bean seeds in the ground or eating the tops off of them when they came up, this just didn't do well for these beans. It just wasn't a great spot for them for whatever reason. And we have chance to grow some cucumbers in a spot that has done well with cucumbers so why not just tear this out cut your losses hey whatever chalk it up to experience uh lesson learned whatever you want to call it take something from that don't waste your space and your time and get you some food growing and now this garlic behind me and beside me is coming out this weekend it's ready to go i'll tell you real quick how you know Look, this is hard neck garlic, so you want the bottom three leaves to be dead. Okay, one, two, three. Bottom three leaves are dead. Every year we actually plant yellow squash in that spot there where the garlic comes out at, and it does pretty well for the most part. We had one year where it did amazingly well, and another year or two where it was pretty good. So it's always great to get a good yellow squash in when we actually have some planted but this will give us a succession and a staggered harvest so when the one is, is dying out these will be ready to go so in order to do that while i was doing the cucumber seeds angela planted this yellow squash here this costata romanesco zucchini here 
and then this squash right here. Yeah, so I'm fully aware that we did a video earlier in the year talking about how we're going to direct sow our seeds. That was just a, for a different scenario. It was a little, it was a little better timing for us to direct sow. This this way, we're going to start these seeds in a container and transplant them, and just make just make sure they're not really mature. That, that way we don't disturb their roots because that's the big deal with squashes you don't want to disturb their roots when you transplant and if they get too mature it's really easy to disturb them these will be really young when we transplant them and they'll be just fine and in this three-tiered green stalk we're going to plant these bush beans we're planting contender green beans inside that three-tier green stalk they're bush beans fast growing they produce a beautiful bean i'll show you real fast here inside this raised bed we've got them growing probably gonna pick them soon Really nice green bean, good flavor, good producer. Right there's another one. There's several in here. We've never planted uh, bush beans inside the green stalk. We've seen it done. Uh, we know they're going. To, we know they do well inside of there. And we're just looking to be as productive as possible inside of a green stalk. And with our time, that's what this is all about: is time and space. And you still have a hundred days in at least half the country, right, to grow food. So I get, like I said, about. 6A, 6B in South. So we're in south, Southwest Ohio, pretty much Central Ohio and South. You have plenty of time still. So we wanna make sure we use our time and space accordingly. This green stalk is an amazing way to do so. If you're, in, if you're in a small space, especially. I don't want you to forget though, there's a buy one, get one 60% off sale on green, at green stalk uh, through the 5th, through July 5th, 2022, okay? It's a impromptu sale that they really haven't done before, I don't believe. And so you're gonna buy one five tier or six or seven, five tier original, seven tier leaf, whatever, all planters, okay? All their planters are on sale. Buy one, get one 60% off, and they are mix and match. So you can get two different sizes if you'd like, doesn't matter. Uh, but you can so you get one full price, get one 60% off, and use our code ART10, ART10 and our link below and you can get ten dollars off of your purchase of so 75 dollars or more as well so it's an amazing company We've got to throw that in there it's a great sale um take advantage of that if you're looking to grow more food in a short period of time so we're going to plant three seeds in each pocket so that's going to give us in this three tier it'll give us what 18 36 54 seeds 54 seeds inside this one that'll be that's 54 bean plants Hey, this, this little blue ridge hillbilly cannot pass up 54 more bean plants, right? So we're excited about that one. And while Angela is re-fertilizing that dirt and, and uh, re-moistening re it, she's putting some uh, granule organic fertilizer and a whole lot of worm castings in there. But while she's doing that, I'm going to show you this. This is the section of ground on our property that we had those um, magnolia tendril sugar snap peas. They're done. It's over. The heat's killed them. So I took the chance yesterday, pulled the trellis down, weed eated everything, let it dry out today. And I took a, uh, a four-tined handheld like tiller, tiller type hoe and broke all this dirt up, used the wheel hoe on it as well, trying to break it up. And on this piece of ground in this trellis, we're gonna plant these guys right here. North Carolina long greasy green beans. It is the most flavorful, most delicious green bean on the planet in my personal opinion okay <laughs> so it is my favorite green bean it is an old-fashioned uh pole bean so it's going to grow it could probably trellis 10 12 foot high i don't know it, they they they'll vine forever they do like heat okay they uh they're heat lovers they produce a beautiful bean and i can't have enough of them personally so <laughs> we're going to plant these on this trellis here and naturally we're going to refertilize that dirt in a similar fashion that we're doing this green stock for the bush beans and now this green stalk right behind me, this is a five tier original leaf. We're going to plant probably some more bush beans. I would say at least two more tiers of bush beans, if not two and a half more tiers of bush beans. And if you've seen our video, our last video about doing something ridiculous, <laughs> we're gonna do something else ridiculous. We're gonna put some more of these subarctic plenty uh, tomatoes inside of this green stalk. Straight, direct so. It's supposed to be a 50 days to maturity, so there should be plenty of time to get enough, some more tomatoes out. And we're going to see how they do in this green stalk. I think they're going to do really well. So we're going to put some of those in there. 
and we're gonna put in some of these yellow squash. That's a really delicious yellow squash. It's a straight neck, early prolific. It does wonderful as well. Honestly, fried squash ain't gonna hurt, ain't gonna hurt nobody's feelings anytime you do it. So more and more squash is great. <laughs> so we're gonna do our best to plant all these things. So let's review on what, the, what these things are. So again, that's a fast growing tomato, especially like this is 50. I wouldn't try anything I wouldn't try anything more than 75 days probably. We're not going to, we didn't plant anything over 65 because as you do get later in the year, even though it's still warm, there's less and less sunlight. So it might, so something say 65 days, it might be 70 days because there's fewer hours of sunlight to promote growth. So it might take a little bit longer, but you can still get it in, right? <clears throat> so I would say any, any tomato 70 days and under, uh, this is 50, uh, a, good, a good summer squash. Uh, any bush bean, actually we're doing pole beans there we, and we always have success doing those pole beans that way. So any, pretty much any green bean, but especially bush beans. There's also several varieties of sweet corn. I think the corn we have in the, in the ground is 68 days, so you should be able to do that. Uh, maybe, I would say maybe even uh, any kind of, uh, any kind of like Kennebec potato or, or Yukon gold, things like that that take about 90 days. I bet they would still go because they can go to frost and just see what you got. So you can do a good tater. Man, there's all kinds of things you can still plant here with in July. This is July 4th weekend. Don't waste your time. You got a long weekend. Use it to grow some food. Plant a garden, you know, grill some burgers and dogs, whatever. But have a great July 4th weekend. We do love you guys so much. Again, my name is Jason, Art of Creation Homestead. We we'll love you guys. God bless you. Goodbye.